Hello. I wanted to start a series of videos that are not just for, but sort of geared towards um, women that are 50 or older. Um, this past December, I turned 50, and I've always loved birthdays. I've always loved getting older. And I've never worried about it. You know, I always thought, yay, you know, I'm having a birthday. And I did this year too, or this last December. But then it sort of sunk in that I was 50. And I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> what? Are you serious? And I've really had a struggle with it. I've been struggling with... <clears throat> Excuse me. I've been struggling with getting older. Um, and it's bizarre because I look at videos that I made, you know, just last year. And I look at me now and I think, what? <laughs> what happened? It almost seems like overnight I like aged like 20 years or something. And I know, you know, a lot of it could be my own perception, but, I mean, I don't get it. <laughs> Everything changed all of a sudden. And <clears throat> I have been having a hard time with it. And so I thought, you know, maybe I should just start a, a video series. You know, it's just, it's basically going to be this. I'm going to just talk about things just talk about things. I'm going to talk about things that I'm thinking about or wondering about, hoping to do, whatever. And I want you to come on this journey with me because I, right now I feel like I'm like really alone. <laughs> and I know I'm not. That's why I thought maybe a video series might be okay because I'm sure that there are a lot of women and men too. You know, it doesn't have to be just for women, but, you know. Um... I know that there's a lot of us that are 50 or older that are having our own struggles, whatever they are, you know, in in the aging process that we're like, you know, kind of freaking out over it a little bit <laughs> and thinking what, you know, yesterday I felt like I was this young kid. Now today I'm like feeling like this old lady. <laughs> And it's not really that I feel like I am, it's just that it's like kind of an overall thing, if that makes any sense. I don't know if it does, but I don't know. I'm just like, I don't want to feel like this about me because I know that, you know, there are a lot of women out there much older than I am that look fabulous, that, you know, to look at them you'd never even know that they were anywhere near their age. And that's how it was with me forever, up until now. <laughs> it's like forever, people always, you know, would think that I was much younger than I actually was. People never could believe my age, but now, you know, if I tell somebody my age, they're like, oh, okay, you know. <laughs> it's like, what? Oh, no. And I've, and I'm, you know, I'm just going to be very honest, very candid in these videos. So, you know, I'm, I'm not going to try to, you know, play down anything. But, I mean, like, I have put on a ton of weight out of nowhere. I don't eat that much, okay? So this is not a thing where, you know, I'm sitting around all day, you know, eating bonbons or whatever. I'm, I'm not. I don't eat a lot of food. I love to eat, don't get me wrong. I'm not somebody who, you know, tries not to eat. It's just, you know, I eat when I'm hungry, and even then, I'm usually not eating very much. I don't, you know, I'm on a very limited budget. And so, I don't, um, I don't buy a lot of food. I don't eat a lot of food. You know, one, my biggest downfall, I think, <laughs> is my absolute passion for iced coffee and I make my own iced coffee the majority of the time I mean once in a while I will buy iced coffee when I'm out but 
usually I make it myself, and I had been making myself two a day, you know, one in the early afternoon and one late afternoon, early evening. Well, two weeks ago, today, actually, um, I stopped having two a day. I dropped it down to one because I thought, you know, maybe that's, you know, got something to do with it. But it's like I've been doing that all along and I've never had a problem, so why all of a sudden? You know, is it just like, I feel like this, you know, big barrel rolling down the street. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. Um, but I cut out the one iced coffee a day. And I do allow myself, I'm not going to like beat myself up if I have to in a day. And I'm trying to basically allow myself one day out of the week. You know, I'll do it more if I, if I really, really want to, if I feel like, you know, I'm having a stressful day and I want one, I'm not going to beat myself up over it, okay? I am not going to deprive myself of something, you know, if I am really wanting it for whatever reason. So, but up to this point in the last two weeks, I guess, you know, I don't know how many days that is. I've only had one day so far <clears throat> that I've had the two, um, and that was last Tuesday, today's Tuesday. And, um, I haven't really noticed any difference in my weight. <laughs> um, I have noticed that I have been drinking a lot more water. Because now, because usually when I make iced coffee, I've got like this little jug that I use. Um, because I live in Thailand and it's just, it's a thing they do here. They make drinks in these jugs, you know, filled with ice. So it's not really as much as it looks like. And I'm sure I'll have videos of me having an iced coffee or something, which you'll see at some point, but, um, I, I now instead of filling that with iced coffee, I'm filling it with water, <laughs> drinking that, so I am drinking a lot more water, but I haven't really noticed any changes, you know, that's the thing, it's like, I was hoping that I would start seeing, like, serious changes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I was really wanting to see some major changes going on. I'm having my hot coffee in my pretty little princess, uh, pink princess thermos. Because what I've done, I should, probably should have said this from the start, is um, I love to ride a bike. Okay? For those of you who don't know this. I love to ride a bike, and I've kind of gotten away from it for a little while, and so I'm trying to get back on it. So what I like to do on mornings that I'm able to is to get on the bike, bring my thermos full of coffee, hot coffee, um, and then ride down to the beach and have my coffee, which is what I'm doing right now. So let me turn this around so you can see. Hopefully you can see that okay. So, we are having coffee on the beach this morning. It was like seven something in the morning when I looked at this, when I looked at the time. So we're having coffee on the beach this morning here in Thailand, southern Thailand. Um, but this is something I really love to do. I love to come down here and have coffee and just enjoy looking at the ocean, listening to the waves. Um, and this place that I come to, which I hope they don't mind because, you know, this is technically where I'm at. It's like a property. It's They have bungalows over here. Let me show you. You might want to see. I don't know how well you can see it, though. It's kind of hard to tell. Anyway, um, <clears throat> there's bungalows, and then they have a little restaurant and a little tiny area in there where they should sell, like, clothes and stuff like that, but, um, they also have these two cats here. <laughs> one is a little cream-colored girl cat, and the other one, I believe, is a boy, and he's a, a black male cat, I think solid black which is my absolute 
favorite cat in the world. I just black cats are wonderful. So if any of you are watching and you have that misconception that black cats are bad luck or anything like that, no. They're some of the best cats you could ever get. <laughs> I'm telling you, they are absolutely wonderful. There's something about their personalities and everything that is just, they're wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. And I just, I'm so in love with this cat. So I come here hoping to see him. <laughs> Um, you know, the first time I came here to this place, I found this place, and I thought, oh, let's sit over here and have my coffee. Very first time I was here, I was right about where I'm at now, I guess, and, um, I looked up, and that little black cat came walking up to me. I could not believe it. I was just like, oh, my God. And then the other one showed up, and I was just in awe. It made my, my day. And I actually have a video of this. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I might be airing this video on two channels. One is Beaches, Bikes, Coffee, and Cats. And the other is ASMR Tingle Pink. So I don't know which you know channel you're watching this from if you're, if you're watching this video. But on my Beaches, Bikes, Coffee, and Cats channel, I have the video up of my morning. It's, just, it's called My Perfect Morning because it was just, it was so perfect. I mean, here I was with my bike and my, you know, the beach and the coffee and then the cat came, cats came along and I was just like, this is just unreal. So anyway, <laughs> but this is kind of just going to be a vlog for me. Um, I, I think I've been having some trouble with my ASMR channel in the video making process because with those videos primarily they're all done inside you know you have to try to like make it very quiet and everything and there's just so much that goes into it. It's like setting up all this stuff and trying to get everything done that even though I want to make the videos, I've kind of stopped making the videos because I've just been dealing with so much other stuff and it's like I just don't have the time or the energy half the time to go and do all of the preparation and setup and everything that goes into trying to do an ASMR video because it's you know, for a lot of people it might not be that hard. A lot of people may be using laptops and they just have an external camera and an external mic that they can plug in and they can just carry it around or whatever. I don't. I don't have that. I wish I did. But I've got like a big bulky regular PC computer. <laughs> so it's like I'm stuck with having to do my videos in this one spot in my bedroom and it's really difficult and it's like that's the thing I liked about the Beaches, Bikes, Coffee and Cats channel that video is me going out and doing stuff you know getting out going out and about going around town you know recording you know doing video on my bike and things like that and that's the kind of stuff that I really enjoy the most I think I love the ASMR and I want to do more videos of that but I would rather not have to be limited to that one space in the bedroom and so even though I'm planning on possibly you know airing this video series on that channel it's gonna be probably for the most part it'll probably be outside <laughs> you know because I mean this is just a vlog this isn't really technically ASMR that's why I'm gonna probably put it up on both channels just see what happens with it because I mean like I said there's I'm sure there's a lot of women and men whoever that are 50 and older that are just like kind of in a place like I don't know you know everything's so weird all of a sudden <laughs> at least for me it just seems like everything's weird all of a sudden I mean in my mind and in my you know in my head and everything I still think like I'm some young person, you know, I've always been that way, um, I'm an, 
there's this energy profiling thing that uh, I did back in 2008, and it's, it's dead on. I mean, it really is. It's like, you know, it, it's so dead on. It's not a personality thing. It's, it's called energy profiling, and I don't know if I'm allowed to mention it. I've mentioned it before in a couple of videos, I think, though. It's Carol Tuttle. Anyway, I did energy profiling. I am a type 1, <laughs> which means that, you know, I'm like a kid in my head, you know, in my energy and everything, my energetic makeup is one that's, you know, very young, bubbly, bouncy, you know, goofy, just, you know, it's, I'm not going to get into all that, but anyway, I'm, because of the type of person I am, you know, I just, I enjoy getting out and doing things and having fun and you know this thing in my head saying you're 50 years old you know who cares that doesn't mean I can't still do that stuff but for some reason I got something going on in here that's saying you're too old to do that now and it's like no I'm not <laughs> no I'm not I'm not that old and especially because it's just my nature is one that's young. I mean, I've got stuffed animals at home. You know, I have stuffed animals. I always like cutesy little things. I mean, you know, I'm 50 years old with a princess pink uh, thermos to drink my coffee. I'll show you my bike, too. Hang on. Let's see if you can see this. I don't think you can really see it that great from here. I can't tell because of the sun. There it is can't really see it that great so it's like this blue bike which I wanted pink but they didn't have them in pink and I've got a pink basket on the back and a pink basket on the front because I love pink and actually it was a bike that made me love pink because originally when I went to go look for a bike you know quite a few years back um, I wanted a blue bike. <laughs> I, don't, I didn't like pink. I wasn't into pink. I wanted a blue bike. But they didn't have blue. All they had was pink. So I got my pink bike. Suddenly, I just flipped out over freaking pink. I don't know what happened. That bike changed my whole life. Now, it's like practically everything I get has to be pink everything. I mean, you can't see it because I'm, I'm filming this on an iPad. The, the cover that I got for the iPad, it's pink. My thermos is pink. I've got my little pink Hello Kitty bag here. Um, even my little thing that I put in the bag to carry, you know, my ID and stuff like that and money. It's pink. Normally, I'd be wearing a pink shirt, but I, I wore my outfit yesterday that I actually would have worn for this today. But anyway, I've got this dog whistle I wear around my neck because dogs like to chase you here when you're on the bike. And so, I don't know if this will help, but I wear it just in case. I don't know if you can see it well here. Let me see if I can just do this. Can you see my shoes? <laughs> Hopefully you can see that. I don't know if you can see that or not. I have pink sneakers. <laughs> pink everything, man. Uh, but that's what a kid I am. You know, that's the point. It's like, you know, I'm just such a freaking kid inside. And it just, I can't get past this 50 thing. It's like, I've never had this problem. Like when I turned 30, at first, before I turned 30, I was kind of like freaking out, thinking, 30? That sounds so old, you know? I turned 30, and I'm telling you, that was one of the greatest times of my life. I was so happy. I loved life. I was just, I felt wonderful. 30 was fantastic. <laughs> and then when I turned 40, I, I don't even really remember that much about when I turned 40. But, you know... It just, I've never been concerned about it. Never. Because I've always just been such a young person inside that, you know, that never bothered me. So why it is now, I don't know. I don't know. 
I think it's because I've gained the weight and it just came out of nowhere and I'm like I don't understand why so I'm thinking you know it's possible I could have a thyroid issue or something but I haven't been to check it out because it's really hard when you live in a foreign country you don't speak the language it can be really difficult <laughs> to do things I mean actually while I've been living here because we we moved here in 2011 and while I've been living here um, I had to have hernia surgery <laughs> that was scary um, but my husband is half Thai he speaks you know pretty good Thai <clears throat> excuse me so you know he helps me out with that but even he doesn't know it completely you know so it's like there are times that he doesn't understand you know when he's trying to talk to somebody about something he's not really understanding what they're saying and sometimes it's, he doesn't know how to get the message across that he's trying to get across so you know it can be really tricky you know when you're in a foreign country but I really would like to get my thyroid checked because I really think you know that could be the, the problem you know with, with my age and everything it could just be something like that because like I said I, I just gained all this weight like so fast I don't know where. I mean, I, I had a bit of a weight issue anyway, but it wasn't this bad. Now I just feel like I've just ballooned out into this thing. Anyway, <laughs> you'll have to forgive me. I'm just me, okay? And that's what I'm going to be on these videos. Maybe no one will watch. Maybe nobody will give a damn. You know? Maybe nobody cares. But it's, it's helping me regardless. This is something that I'm doing for myself. Because I'm hoping that this is going to help motivate me to get more active and to, and to start kind of moving into another direction. Um, I thought about like naming this series something like 50 Headed for Fabulous or something like that. Because what I want to do, what I'm hoping this is going to help me to do is to start focusing more in a direction of feeling better about myself, being more active, and take you know, taking more time for me. Because I think that's so important. I think we need to all take more time for ourselves. And we get so busy sometimes we don't do it. I mean my situation is a lot different I think than a lot of people because you know I'm in a foreign country and you know my life my busy life is somewhat different than a lot of people's busy life. You know, for a lot of people, I mean, you've got commutes to work, and, and you got to be at work, and you got, you know, kids to take to sports things or whatever, you know, dance lessons, whatever it is. You know, there's all this stuff going on. People are busy all the time. And so, you know, I think taking time for ourselves is so important. And... I don't know. I just and and I, I, all the other problem is is that you know I am here pretty much alone. <laughs> other than my husband and my cats, I'm alone. So you know I don't have friends here. I don't. I'm not a big sociable person. I really am not. I used to be many 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 years ago when I was younger. I used to be some more sociable, but now <clears throat> now I'm not. Now I like I like being alone most of the time. I enjoy it because I can just do what I want to do and I don't have to worry about anybody else. But you know there are times where you just want to talk. You know you just want to do things. You just you know want to spend time with friends or you know you'd like to have a girlfriend to go shopping with you or whatever. You know or sit here like this. I mean it's so funny because when I started that Beaches Bikes Coffee and Cats channel. It was because I was sitting and having coffee on a beach. It wasn't this area. It was up the beach that way. But I was sitting there and I thought about, you know, I'd like to make a YouTube channel where I'm just sitting and talking. You know, like like if I were just hanging out with a friend. You know, just talking about stuff. And that was my original goal. And it never really went in that direction. It kind of started veered off in other directions and doing other stuff and so it never really happened so maybe this is what I'm supposed to do now maybe I'm supposed to just go back to my original plan which is this 
do it. If people watch, they watch. If they don't, they don't. I guess, you know, it doesn't really matter. But, I mean, of course, I'd love for people to watch because I'd like to interact. I'd love to have this as an opportunity, you know, for you to leave comments and for me to be able to reply to your comments and interact with people and get other people's thoughts and feelings. You know, how are you guys doing it? You know, for those of you that are, you know, just turned 50 or about to or if you, you know, have been through it and you had some of these same feelings, you know, what did you do? Did you, you know, did you do something that helped you get through it better and accept yourself more or, you know, whatever? I'd love to hear from you. And, you know, I don't know how long these videos are going to be. I mean, you know, for ASMR, um, for that channel, my ASMR Tingle Pink channel, if you're watching on that or whatever, you understand that, you know, ASMR videos are meant to be longer because they're, you know, it's, but this isn't really ASMR because I'm just talking normal. I'm not really whispering. I'm not talking in a soft-spoken voice. You know, I'm not doing a lot of, you know, I mean, there might be some unintentional ASMR in this video, but, <laughs> um, anyway, I just, I'm, I just need some place to go and, and to talk and share my, you know, thoughts and feelings with some people and, you know, just say, hey, you know, this is what I'm dealing with and going through and I want to take you with me, you know, I want you to be here with me and, I, you know, I might take you for rides on my bike sometime. You know, I'm just going to do whatever, I guess, and then hopefully people will enjoy it and watch it. I'd love for this to actually be something that would connect with other people because I would like to not feel so alone, you know. It would be really nice to know, hey, you know, I'm out here too and I feel the same way or I went through that thing, same thing, and, you know, this is how I managed to get through it or I started doing this for myself, whatever the case may be. I know people might be thinking I'm weird. I don't know if anybody can see me or if you're just talking away. <laughs> but that's okay. I don't really care. I don't really care that much about what people think about me anymore. You know, I mean, I used to. I used to always worry about, you know. Like, I'm sitting here right now. <clears throat> I just got out of bed, threw this little headband on, which I'm going to wear a lot of because my last haircut was a disaster. So I'm wearing a lot of headbands these days. <laughs> <laughs> until it grows out and I got no makeup on I just got out of the bed put some clothes on made my coffee and got out the door and after I took care of my cats I had to take care of them first they always come first <laughs> but anyway um well, I hope you've enjoyed this and I'm you know hopefully in the future videos that I do which I may be often maybe once in a while I don't know yet this is just this is kind of a test. Even when I sat down to do this video, I thought this would just be a test video. But I might actually be airing it, you know. I, I'm, I'm, I'll watch it and listen to it and see what I think. And I might slap it up there on YouTube. So, <laughs> Hopefully in the future, though, I'll make some more videos. And um, I won't have to go through all the detail on every one about, you know, why I'm doing it or anything. It's just, I thought this is the first one. So I'll, I'll come up with something, and I'm hoping that you'll join me. So, you know, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And if you click on that little notification bell, you'll get notifications every time I upload a new video. So I'd really appreciate it if you do that because, you know, I don't want to feel so alone over here. <laughs> I love Thailand. It's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I li I've waited my whole life to, you know, live in a tropical location near a beach and stuff and this is great but you know there's a lot of soul stuff that you know is missing it's just like I need to connect I need to I need somebody I can talk to and I want to have my coffee and, and share it with somebody you know even though you're not physically sitting here if I know you're watching it makes me feel better you know it makes me feel like hey I got somebody I can have my morning coffee with and go for bike rides with and whatever so we'll see what happens so thank you all very very much for watching and listening and please leave some comments I'd love to hear from you so let me know what you think and if you have some ideas or suggestions let me know about that too so I hope I see you again later bye y'all